I love eating candy. But what I love even more is playing around in Photoshop. And today I'm going to show you how you can create a custom typeface in Photoshop that looks just like sugary sweet candy. All right guys, so we're gonna create our custom typeface to look like candy. This is gonna be quick and easy. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I'll get to them immediately. So the first thing we're gonna do is I found this great image and what I like about it is it's got all this kind of powdered sugar and I think that's gonna help us with uh, convincing the people that check this out that this is candy. It looks like candy. It's sweet, it's juicy. All right, let's just get into it. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is we've got our, our image layer here. We're gonna go and create our type. So grab your type tool, click, and let's use the word desserts. Why not? We're gonna highlight the text. We're gonna come in here, and I've already picked a font that I really like called Signatra or Sinatra, or Signet, sig, whatever, Signatra. You can find it in defont.com. It's loaded with thousands upon thousands of fonts. Um, one thing to be sure of, if you're using a script font like this, make sure that this just goes to metrics. Optical always kind of messes up uh, script fonts. So I've hit Command T, I'm just making this a little bit bigger. All right, there we go, desserts. All right, now to make it look like candy. Let's go on and double click on the type layer. We've got this layer style window that pops up. The first thing that we're gonna do is create a gradient overlay right here. And that is not what we want. So we're gonna click on this gradient slider here. Let's just do this easy black and white and let's double click on the white double click on that white we're going to pull up this color picker window and I want to grab a couple of colors in here let's grab we want you know the black down here we want it to go from dark to light up top let's grab a couple of nice colors let's do um, how about, let's find a red. And that looks pretty good. Let's grab this down here. Let's find a nice, let's go to a very light color up here. And actually, so right now it's doing the opposite. It's going dark to light. We want it to do the opposite. So we're going to, let's just go on and hit okay. Hit reverse. And then I'll flip it. So we got the light coming in from the top. And I'm gonna add one more color, I think, in here. So I'm just gonna click, you know, right here in between, just right here down below the slider. And let's double click on that color. And let's grab kind of a medium, somewhere in between this light pink to this red. We'll call that good. I'm sure this is gonna be fine. And the thing that's kind of making this look kind of uh, ugly is we got this blend mode here to do soft light. And let's undo that. Let's just turn it to normal. We want to see that color. There you go. It's a little bit brighter and the opacity is at 50. Let's just turn it up to 100. Okay. So now we've got our, our gradient. And actually, I did not mean to close out of that. Let's double click this because we're doing everything in this layer style. That's what's making this so easy. The next thing we're going to do after we've got our gradient overlay is we're going to go to bevel and emboss. And we've got the style set to inner bevel. That's good. And we got this technique set to smooth. That's great. The depth, we're going to set this at. Let's take it let's take it down we don't want it too deep let's take it to 40 okay 43 looks good 
the uh, direction. We've got it up. You can click both and just kind of see what we're going for here. And it shows you in this box where the light's coming from. So we want the light to be coming in from the top. So up is good. Size, let's take that size down to about 10 pixels. And the soften, let's just drop it all the way down to zero. So you see we're starting to get this, this kind of edge to our, our font here. The angle of light, that's pretty good. We're, it, it's showing that it's coming down from the top left. And that's kind of perfect because if you can see by these shadows and the food, the light's coming from this direction. So we're just going to leave that right there as is. And the highlight mode, we got it on screen. Uh, let's change that color. We don't want it to be just white. We want it to be similar to kind of the colors that we've, that we've picked. Let's just go on and pick a light light kind of pastel coral, whatever you want to call it. And then the shadows, we got set to multiply, that's great. And let's pick a red down here to kind of drop right down here in these shadows. So I think that's looking, that's looking pretty nice. So after we've got the bevel and emboss, let's go to the inner shadow. And this is where it's gonna to start to look like uh, that awesome kind of sugar coated candy. So let's go to um, here, let's change the color. We've clicked on it, we're turning it to white. And we're gonna click on the blend mode. We're gonna take it to dissolve. And there you go, now it's starting to look like that kind of uh, you know sour gummy worm look. I love those things. So let's take the opacity here to, I don't know, we can, let's turn it down. So we don't want it to look, we don't want it to look crazy. Let's turn it down to somewhere around here. Let's take that distance to 14. The choke is good at zero and the size, let's kind of play with that. The size, I think that looks pretty good right there. Let's see that opacity one more time. And the fun thing about this is that you can play with it all you want, change these up and down and whatever, and you can you can just kind of explore and find that look that you want. I think I'm gonna leave this right. I don't wanna get too crazy. All right, let's do it right here. That looks pretty good. The next thing that we wanna do is add a drop shadow to this just to kind of mimic what's already sitting here we want the text to kind of look like it's sitting you know right down here with with these desserts so let's go on and give it just a, a little bit of a drop shadow drop shadow is have the multiply mode on and let's turn that angle we got the we're going to use the global light so anything that you do the angle of the light that you do to any of these is going to be the same on any of these other styles. So that's good, let's keep it there. The distance, let's see. We kind of play with it, we can kind of see what our shadow is doing. Let's take it down, it's about right there, that's good. Spread, we'll just keep it at zero. The size, uh, I mean, this is gonna be so subtle. We don't want it to be just this super dark uh, drop shadow, that would just be kind of, that'd be overkill, we don't want to do that. The noise, let's leave at zero. I think that looks pretty good. You know what, I want to come back to the, that inner shadow where our candy is. There we go, that sugar. I don't know if I did anything different to it, but I like to kind of finesse until it looks right in my eye. Let's go on and call that good. So now we have a typeface that we can come back in and we can we can just write anything that we want. Candy. Sweet. I mean, how awesome is that? It's something that we didn't, you know, do a whole lot of photo editing and stuff that when the client comes back and says, "Oh, you know what? I don't want to say, you know, desserts. I want to say sweet or I want to say candy." You're not going to be beating your head against the computer having to recreate all that. Now we just got a typeface. 
typeface, typeface, if I could spell. Let's take it back to desserts, because I want to do one more thing that I kind of like to do in this in this case. I want to go to type, and I'm going to drop it down here to warp text, just to give it a little bit of a, um, you know, just a little bit less of that, you know, computer generated look. I just like to warp it just a little bit. Sure, why not? Let's just do it right here. Now the cool thing about this is after we've created our layer styles here in this type, we can easily do something like that again. So let's go right above desserts so and let's write, I don't want to do that. Let's lock this so I don't actually type on that again. All right, up here. Let's write, let's write sweet. Well, let's change the font to another font found on defont.com. Coffee and tea demo. And let's turn it to all caps. And we're going to hit command T I'm going to make this a little bit smaller. And now, since we've already created our custom font with these layers, I'm just going to hold Option. I'm going to grab the FX right here, click and drag to our new layer. Sweet. And there you go. I mean, it's already it's already done. You can adjust it however you want. Let's see. We can double click on this and let's what if we change the the gradient overlay? What if we don't want it to look just like this pink dessert? What if we want to change the color of this to be more of a Oh yeah, maybe a nice blue. Let's do something kind of mid in between there. Okay, and then let's do a darker blue down here at the bottom. Now this is this is probably a little too bright. It doesn't look doesn't look realistic anymore. Sure, why not? Let's leave it right here. I mean, so you get the idea. You see what we're doing? Just through double clicking on your type and playing in the layer styles, you can create custom typefaces to look like whatever you want. And then you can just go back and type into it. Super easy. So you want more than that? Let's go on and grab the brush tool. And we're just gonna we're just gonna put candy all over this thing. Click a new layer, get your brush tool. Got a little dot. We're going to option click the effects, click and drag to your layer. And there we have another piece of candy. Let's change that piece of candy to a different color. What if we turn it to. Let's go in the green. Let's go with the green palettes. And then we're just going to get darker greens as we go further into the shadows. All right, now we got a green piece of candy that we can hold the option. Let's grab that piece of candy. Let's create a lot of candy. We can change the size of that candy. And so you get the picture here. We've done we've we've created an easy easy font in only using the layer styles. All right, well there you have it guys, your very own custom typeface that looks like candy. I hope y'all found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please hit that like and subscribe button down below. And if you hit that little bell in the top corner, you'll get notifications of the next time that I post something. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. I'll be sure to answer them as soon as I can. So again, guys, thanks for stopping by and be sure to tune in for more.